Hello, fellow crafters. It's Miss Darling in the studio. Welcome. I'm happy that you've joined me. And today I'm not going to be making anything, but what I am going to do is to show you a whole bunch of ideas that things that I've made in the past. Many of the things I have done a video on and some I have not. Uh, but I just want to give you ideas today to hopefully inspire you to make something, take an idea and improve on it, take it a different direction, create something original. You know, whatever you want to do is great as long as you're busy creating something. So let's get started and hopefully you'll find a lot of inspiration throughout this video. So I'm just going to grab stuff off my pile here and, and discuss it, show it as it comes. So here is a little mini journal and you can see that it it is kind of like in an accordion style and that may be what it is referred to and it has two sides to it and here is the cover and you open it up and then the journal pages are attached to the various inside sections of the accordion and these are all coffee dyed sheets and then you know there's in this particular one there's like a little band here that you can stick ephemera in and you get to the end and then you go back the other direction and there's more pages to journal on and something that you could carry around in a handbook very easily and also use it as a stuffer for a journal. This is kind of the same concept, just a larger version of it. And you see here, uh, it says notebook. And in this particular case, the pages are not coffee dyed. They are printed pages that are made to look vintage. And so as you flip through this, you see all the pages that are there and you get to the end and you flip it over and there's more journaling pages. So it's the same accordion type of, of item, just a larger version from the other one. Here's another one here just to show you the variety. That's what that side looks like. Flip it over and the background page is different. And the, these are all made, the, the accordion section is made from cardstock that uh, comes as a Tim Holtz scrapbook paper. So that's that. Here's another kind of version, a, a pared down version. It's about half the width of the other two, but the same idea. And so it just goes to show you how you can decorate them to look different. And it all depends on your the design of your background paper. And what's good about Tim Holtz paper is it is got a printed design on both sides. So you don't have to worry about the flip side being bare and uninteresting. These are other versions of, you know, the same type of thing, just a smaller, this one hasn't been decorated. And this is just a single fold out kind of a booklet. So, you know, you can do something simple like this or go into the accordion style. Now this is a folded sheet. It's a single fold and there's coffee dyed pages that have been sewed down the middle. It, but the outside 
has been folded, one corner has been folded up and folded back again and a button sewed on and so that creates a pocket here so you could stick some ephemera in there and on the front side there's also a pocket and the only difference here is the two covers have been folded back and then folded again and then a button attached and so it's just really cute makes a great inclusion in a journal or you know something you can carry around in a pocketbook this is the same thing without the folding this was made uh, at Christmas time using Christmas cardstock here is an insertion now this is a little bit more uh, cumbersome to stick in a journal simply because it's dimensional and this is what I called my, my scrolled um, ephemera and it's a single sheet of cardstock that's been rolled up on each side and then decorated in the middle and you can see it was printed on both sides so it makes a really nice item to loosely stick into a journal bear in mind though that because of the roll it's either going to get flattened out or you know <laughs> create uh, quite a bit of bulk inside a journal but anyway you can have fun doing something like that and you could use it for other purposes besides putting in a journal you know I mean uh, what if you sent out an invitation that looked like this to someone where you know could be a wedding invitation a reception invitation an invitation to a party and you choose your papers according to what the festivity is going to be so that's a scroll these are just more different ideas ways of folding paper to be included in a journal somehow um, so these are where the two ends are folded inward this is the same thing only accordion style these are all the same thing so there's you know many different ways you can fold paper and make it look different to include in a journal or without here's a booklet that I made that is bound together with ribbon and it has two holes that have been punched one could you know even put a third hole in there and this is cardstock this is a heavy weight and the pages inside are just various sizes of cardstock and coffee dyed paper uh, different sizes here's uh, some you know, like tissue like paper Here's some regular uh, school book paper that's been coffee dyed. And so it's just full of different kinds of paper that one could journal on. And you could decorate the pages or leave them plain as they are. And just, you know, pull together a, a nifty little booklet. It's a great way to use up paper that you know scraps that you have laying around and you don't know what to do gather them up and put a little cover on the front and back and tie it together with ribbon and you've got a wonderful thing you can insert into a journal or uh, you know use as a standalone journal This is something I made a long time ago. This is the right side up. And this was a large window envelope. And you can see where the plastic is. I try to hold this at an angle so we don't get a glare. And so I decorated the 
perimeter and you flip it over and you see here's the flap and this side is all been collaged and you see it's kind of stiff as these things are they're stiff to begin with and then when you collage on top of them they become even stiffer but you could see how you could you know use that to store something in and you can see that I've got my hand in there which shows you that I decorated the background where the window is so that it uh, is decorated of course that disappears the moment you put something inside anyway it's just another thing you could use to embellish a journal or you know just to use as a standalone envelope for storage in your art room your crafting area whatever you could you know store your own ephemera in there for instance things that you want to particularly protect the stiffness of this would be ideal here's a cover that I made it does not have anything in it it's just the front the spine and the back of a cover and it's ready to be used and you can see how I decorated the insides of the cover and the spine and you know just I was in the mood one day to use up a lot of fabric and combine it with paper or not and so I just made a bunch of covers in the size that I normally work with and this front side of the cover was done with two colorful napkins which I collaged together so that it doesn't anymore look like two but like one just one large napkin and uh, I was very pleased with that and then I went over the top with Mod Podge and you know to keep it from getting scuffed up or the paper torn away at some point and one of these days I'll get around to putting a journal in it but you know you can pre-make things it, you don't have to do things in any particular order and a lot of times I'll make something up simply because I happen to have uh, paper or fabric that I'm looking at right then that inspires me knowing that one day I will make good use of it and so um, you know I just do things sometimes I'll gang make stuff and make several identical or near identical items and then store them away for future use so here is something I made recently well this one I made a long time ago and what it is um, is several I think number nine or number ten envelopes that I have adhered together using hinges made from fabric and so I put them together and then painted them and decorated them and I used them to store ephemera in for instance here I have a number of neutral uh, pieces and over here we have uh, more black and white um, textual imagery and so I divide them up according to color or style and that way it's easy to keep them separated here you can see oh there's nothing in that one um, but then back here you know not every you know the back side of the envelope has you know just decoration on it but you flip it over and the side that has the flap is where you're also decorating but that's where you can store things now in here I have blue and green ephemera and then over here 
I had uh, red kind of multicolors in there. And so it's a great way to store partic a particular type of ephemera that I'm working with at the time, or, you know, just some of my favorite things. Uh, whatever you want to put in there is fine. So I had made this a long, long time ago and used it heavily. And so then I made another one looks completely different, but it, the idea was the same. And I made a bit, video on this. And so this again is six envelopes that are hinged together with fabric. This is a completely different color palette, as you can see. And so you open it up. I don't have anything in here at the present time. But I went a little further with this one and decorated the full inside with fabric that goes significantly into the envelope so that, you know, when you pull it apart to put something in there, you're not seeing something ugly. Okay, so here I have a little fabric tag that's stuck in there for the moment. And you can see the two sides match. And here's another tag over here stuck in there. And then we move on. There were window envelopes. There were windows here, which the plastic got ruined, so I had to remove it. And so I basically just kind of covered those holes up. So then we get to this. The center section has the flaps. Open that up, and you can see it has all together different fabric. And it's very fun. It was a, a lot of fun to make. And I was very happy with how it turned out. This is a flip side. Again, a window uh, uh, had been there. And then we flip it over here. We've got two more flaps. Open that up to this. And inside here, we've got more tags. But, of course, you can put anything in here, the ephemera like I did in the other, or if you're going to use it as a standalone to give or sell, um, you know, you might want to put something decorative in there. You could, because there's no place to journal on this, it doesn't have to be a journal, but you could stick, um, for instance, a number of coffee dyed sheets of paper. Turn them into kind of a like a little notebook of some sort and stick inside and turn it into a journal where the person could journal on those inside interior pages, but not on the not on the outer storage item. Okay, so I uh, love showing that. I was very proud of making that and I hope you like the idea too. And you could do the same thing. You could do fewer envelopes. You could do more envelopes. Um, you know, take the idea and see how you can change it up and make it your own special unique idea. You can also do small works of art that you can include in a journal or frame up. And so here's a small floral that I painted while doing a true crime video, <laughs> which unfortunately I accidentally deleted <laughs> after publishing it. And um, so all that time and effort gone to waste. But anyway, I have my two original floral paintings here that I can use on a cover. I can use on the interior of the journal, or I could frame them up, give them away, 
sell them, you know, whatever I want to. And so, you know, if you're artistic, use your artistic talents to coordinate into your crafting projects. This is a watercolor painting I did for a second true crime video. Here's another one that did not make it into a, a video. Here's another watercolor. I have it filmed, but um, I don't know if it'll make it into a video. And then here was another one. It's kind of a landscape collage type of uh, kind of combination painting and collage. And so, you know, just let your imagination soar and get as creative as you can be because there are no rules, there are no limits on what you can do. Now, of course, you can always make art cards and these are just examples of art cards just cut straight from various scrapbooking paper or I think uh, all of these are really Tim Holtz papers and I've cut them out ready to make into something. There's always tags that you can make and uh, you can see I have a whole bunch here. I don't even have the, the um, ribbon or ties uh, put on yet, but here they are ready to go. Um, here's some where the ties have been attached. And then I have a bunch of art cards down here. These were scraps left over from from the papers I was using to cut out tags and so the small scrap pieces that aren't big enough to be made into anything particular become extra pieces that I can use for collage or become a small art card of their own. And here you see I've got a bunch of these longer ones are great for bookmarks that you can include in a in a journal or as art cards extra uh, decoration you can use things like this uh, what could make a great focal point uh, on a page or a cover and so you see you know I don't throw your scraps away turn them into something useful that you can use for future journals or you know whatever you want you can see what kind of variety I have I also have things here that more of the size of a postcard that make you know they're great for stuffing actual postcards that have been you know decorated and you know so on and so forth so These were cut out of master boards that I made, and so you can see they're, um, they're heavily the look of collage, but these were actual copies of the master board, and then I cut up the copy, and you see each one has a nice look to it that's unique. And the reverse side you know, can be addressed. You could write a small note on it and put a stamp on it. And voila, you've got a postcard you can stick in the mail that's really unique and different. So, of course, tags and post postcards and bookmarks, are, art cards are all very heavily used in the junk journal genre as are dangles and here I have a whole series of dangles that have already been started 
and I've got a little charm that's added to this one and um, you know they're all ready to have ribbon and lace or trim of uh, whatever that I want to add to it. These can be attached to an interior page and they can also um, you know be part of a dangle that's on the outside of a journal and so I just have all kinds of different things in different colors that I can pull from anytime I need something and uh, I have them in different shapes and um, they are easy to make from a master board that was just full of, of uh, stamping and, and various colors and collage and then you cut your pieces out of the out of the master board and this is on a heavier card stock because you know you don't want to do something on like 20 pound, 20 pound bond paper you want to make them pretty stiff and then I have um, burnished them with I believe it was Mod Podge that I used and I've got the jump rings on them already and so they're ready to be used. Some of them I added a, oops, some of them I added a little charm to it. And I have also added a, um, I forget what these are called, but they're like in the shape of a light bulb. And I think they're like called like a bulb fastener. And um, so anyway, it's a nifty little um, pinnable fastener that you can use to hang fabric on or you know whatever that you're using you can use them I use them to add a charm to a journal and to give you an idea let me show you this all fabric journal that I just got through making and this has a piece of torn fabric that matches and this was a kind of like a broadcloth uh, somehow I wound up uh, I don't know if I bought it from a thrift store or how I acquired it but I had this white or off-white cloth and I coffee dyed it and liked it so much I'm using it as the cover of this fabric journal and glued some um, jute cording on the front and then you open it up this is an all lace collage on top of the next piece but you can see as I turn this over I have one of those one of those little uh, dangle added here to add interest and fun to this journal and as we go through it you'll see here I've added another one so So they're really fun to work with and to spice up something that otherwise might be um, just too plain. And so uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of, of uh, what I'm doing and how I'm working with various things that I make and having a lot of fun and being creative and just enjoying 
crafting to its fullest. So that's it for this video. I hope I've inspired you. If you like this content, please give the video a like and share it. And I would appreciate that. And I do thank you for being here with me and looking at some of these things. And I hope you have indeed found this video of great help and inspiration to you. Thanks again. This is this is Miss Darling calling this a wrap. Bye-bye. <laughs>